welcome to this episode of Pharmacy Focus at the University of Charleston's School of Pharmacy. This episode will be a treat for sure. You'll have the opportunity to uh, uh, learn more about one of our pharmacy residents here in the School of Pharmacy, uh, Dr. Jennifer uh, Byerly is starting with us uh, July of 2016 and will be with us until uh, June of 2017. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy this episode of Pharmacy Focus. Welcome, Dr. Byerly. How are you today? Hi, and thank you for having me today. How are oh, you? Oh, my pleasure. I'm doing well. Doing well. So tell us a little bit about your background. Where are you from? Uh, and maybe some of the colleges that you've attended and any work experience you'd like to share. Okay. Well, I actually have a, I'm a non-traditional student, or was a non-traditional student. <laughs> I um, had a previous not so much career, but job history, uh, more in retail management, uh, some assistance in office management, human resources, um, and decided a little bit later in life that it wasn't going to go too far for me. I wanted something more fulfilling um, personally and professionally, and I decided to go to school a little bit later in life. So I went to Tri-County Technical College, which mm -hmm. is a small community college down in um, upstate South Carolina, okay. and I enjoyed being there. It's a smaller school. And I went from there, I did my pre-core, uh, pre-pharmacy requisites and went down to Medical University of South Carolina for my pharmacy education and spent four wonderful years in Charleston, South Carolina. Didn't know I was going to do a residency at the time, uh, probably closer to fourth years when I decided to pursue looking into that and um, entertain the idea of do I want to take the community pharmacy path or go into a residency and I kind of just decided that I wanted a little bit more experience with the AmCare. Uh, it was just something that I really enjoyed doing in school with a lot of the experiences that we had. Wonderful, wonderful. So I spent a year and a half or so in Charleston, South Carolina. I did a residency at Medical University of South Carolina as well. I did, and uh, most of my experiences were in the IOP, the Institute of Psychiatry, because uh, my residency was in psychiatric pharmacy. So I know a little bit about Charleston and um, enjoyed uh, my time there, and also spent some time in the training at, at the VA right down the street, right? Well. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. So MUSC is, is a great institution, so we have that in common. Yes. So talk a little bit um, about pharmacy for you. Why was pharmacy something that was appealing and attractive and something that you decided to pursue? Well, starting a little late in the game as far as going back to college at mm -hmm. that time, I had to consider what would be worth my time, what would keep my interest sure. in going to college rather than going and continuing my full-time payment. Um, so I really looked into things that appealed to me. I had a lot of different interests and I looked into different educational programs to see what would help continue my interest and take me down to a career path that would be something fulfilling in the long run. And I did a lot of soul searching, a lot of internet searching and landed upon a pre-pharmacy curriculum and thought, hey, here's all the sciences. This is all interesting to me. Mm -hmm. I might as well start here. And pharmacy sounds like a good career. I looked into it and um, kind of just took the first baby step, the first leap into school. and yeah. So that's fantastic. So you said that you were interested really in ambulatory care. Yeah, I became interested in that during school. I didn't even know what that was before I started pharmacy school. Um, but yeah, we had some courses that really exposed us to counseling patients and doing a lot of the, the chart reviews and diabetic counseling and, and warfarin counseling. And I just really enjoyed those activities. I enjoyed them on my rotations as well. Um, getting to be in clinic and actually meeting and having those little heart-to-hearts with patients. It was an interaction that was very fulfilling, especially at the end when a patient hugs you or says, can I see you next time I come? Right. You feel like you really made an impact on, on their life in a way. Um, and I think that's personally very satisfying and hopefully going to help them in their outcomes. Absolutely. So in your experiences with the ambulatory care, where was the pharmacist positioned within that environment? So I had a few rotations in ambulatory care um, during my fourth year. One of them was through MUSC at the Family Medicine Clinic, and they actually have a dispensing pharmacy as well as clinical pharmacy there at the Family Medicine Practice. And so I was with the clinical pharmacist, and we had appointment times where people would come see us for a 20-minute or 40-minute block, depending on if it was an INR check or a diabetes education or follow-up appointment. And we would run through the whole med rec and all the questions that would be pertinent to their health at, 
for those purposes. And we would look over their blood sugar logs, do their sugar checks, their INR checks and everything. Um, so we really got to have that full appointment with them. And then in the end, any medication changes that we needed to make or felt that we needed to make, we had our uh, protocol with our providers there that we were allowed to, under that protocol, make those changes without having to go bother the doctor, take time out of their day. Can we bump up their insulin? Can we change them to glipizide? Things like that we could just do on our own within that scope. Um, some patients were referred to us for smoking cessation, some were hypertension, and some obviously had other disease states that if we had the referral, we could manage that, but if we didn't have the referral, we would still pay attention to it, and if we saw something that needed to be changed or had recommendations, we would reach out to the appropriate provider for that. Absolutely. So that sounds like um, uh, fully integrating the pharmacist into the entire healthcare experience, right? So the patients were learning that my doctor um, helps me tremendously, but there's also this other healthcare provider called the pharmacist who works in concert with my physician and can help me manage my medications, manage my side effects, manage any kind of experience I may be having that's within our scope um, of training. Great, so you um, uh, applied to our residency program. Um, what was appealing to our, uh, about our program? Well, I actually met Dr. Legary at ASHP mid-year. I had no intention of coming to West Virginia. I don't know anyone here. It, I kind of was looking into programs that were close to my home down in South Carolina and in Georgia where I had lived previously, um, kind of in the southern region there. But as I was walking down the row, I saw a sign that said Charleston and it said ambulatory care and it said rural and those are things that spoke out to me. So I stopped to look at it and Dr. Legary saw me so I approached and spoke with her and I just in our conversation I really enjoyed hearing what she said about the program everything all the information she gave me our personal interaction the way we interacted I felt very good about that um, so by the end of the conversation I felt very interested in the program here that had a lot of the ambulatory care which was appealing to me it has the academia which I did in academia rotation I, I've worked in um, in undergrad, I actually worked in the labs, not teaching, but I was behind the scenes doing all the material prep for biology and chemistry. Okay. So I have a little bit of experience working with faculty, so I thought that would be a, a really good avenue to mm -hmm. pursue and, sure. and reach out there. So um, it was on my list to look into, and, Next thing you know, and here I am. <laughs> Well, happy for us and good for you, and uh, you've been with us uh, about a month and a half or so, uh, and so there's uh, several more months ahead of you, uh, but you'll have opportunities, I know, to interact with many of our students, uh, as well as providing good care um, to patients. Is it at Family Care? Is that the location that you're going to do some of your rotations? Or? I'm going to be in several different places. So several. this month I'm actually in three different clinics oh, with wow, Lindsay okay. Acree. Um, so we have a, there's a family health clinic, there's the City of Charleston clinic, and there's also the health department, the needle exchange. Ah, wonderful. So I'm getting exposed to those different varieties this month. I'll be doing internal medicine with Jennifer Simon. I will be doing um, one at CAMC with Stephen Cook. There's just a, a good variety. That good variety. I'll have a good exposure to different disease states and different populations, but there will be a lot of focus on the family health, the internal medicine side. And wonderful, wonderful. Well, I wish you the very best uh, this upcoming uh, residency year for you, this PGY1 uh, experience I'm sure will be uh, filled with lots of opportunities for you to learn and grow, but also provide great care to patients. And that's really why we are in existence as a school of pharmacy, is that we want to train good pharmacists to be able to provide quality care to patients. So best wishes to you and thank you for your time. Thank you so much. You're welcome.